Okay, so let me explain something to y'all. So I'm a psychiatrist. Sometimes people come into my office and they tell me about the sexually depraved shit that they're into. And never have I heard anything, like, just bizarre. Like, why would you want a woman's urine off of the internet? Like, what are you going to do with that? There was some meme about it making you a better gamer, so then they How, would uh, where ask the fuck random does that women. Even come from? Why is that even... What? Memes have some grounding in reality, right? They're like something that happens in the real world and they get, gets like taken out of proportion. I think it had to do with the Belle Delphine selling her bath water. I think it came from that or something like that. And then people just escalated that. it. What, what is that? It's definitely that. Ever since uh, Belle Delphine came on the internet and she started selling, you know, bath water that she used, you know, to shower herself, so many guys were uh, simping for it, I guess. <laughs> okay, Just to be so, clear, she marketed it as gamer girl bathwater. Okay, so I don't know if this is beyond the scope of the conversation, but can y'all please enlighten me as to what the words that are coming out of y'all's mouth means? So first Which of one? all, who or what is a Belle Delphine? That's a person? Right? Yeah, she's an individual, is she, yeah. Is she like a streamer? or She's like a streamer. A, okay. And so she started selling her bath water, meaning the the liquid that she pours, a, that she takes a bath in. Yes. And My she understanding, started, she's like a meme troll, so like... Okay. So like she was trolling and she started selling bath water and people purchased it? Or was that a joke? <laughs> her viewers actually purchased it. People mostly bought it, but as a joke. Like, a lot of YouTubers bought it as a joke, and they're like, I bought it, and then they I showed see. it. Got it. Okay. Because then my next and question is like... Uh, sorry, Laz? No, no, no. And some drank it. They, they drank it. Can I just think for a second? Take, take your time. I tell you all the story. So I was around, so I'm a boomer, right? And now we're going to tell a Dr. K boomer story. So like, I was around when the internet was born. And I know that's kind of a weird thing to say, but like the internet wasn't always around. Like at the beginning, the internet was like a place, even before the days of the internet, we had these things called bulletin board systems, BBSs that are really cool. It's like you log into the server and only one person can be on the server at a time and you like play games and stuff like that. There were like turn-based games and and like, you know, sometimes people would like chat and have discussions. There'd be like forums where you could post and stuff like that. And it just blows my mind that this is what the internet has turned into. I don't even know what this is. And also, what's a simp? I hear people use that term a lot. I, I could take a stab at the definition. Uh... I think it's uh, typically a guy viewer of a female streamer or YouTuber who is the kind of person that would like donate to them just to hear their name be read from the donation. And that's like all that they want to get from that relationship. Like they're happy just to have their name be read from, from a donation marker and, and they'll give money to that person to have them read it. Okay, so now help me understand something. And I recognize that you guys may not have answers here, but maybe y'all do. So like, I, when we think about a toxic asshole that you guys play games with, and then there's a simp, are those like opposite ends of a spectrum or the same spectrum? Like, are that the, is that the same person? Or like, what is the relationship there? And maybe there is none. Usually, usually it's seen as the opposite of it. Like if you defend a woman against a bully, then you're a simp. Okay. Okay. I wonder if they're the same person. Hmm. Interesting. Anyway, that's just, doc, Dr. K is going to have to think about that for a little while with his Freudian head. Um, I, yeah. Um, from my understanding for like a simp, a simp is like a person who's just like, you know, those type of guys who's willing to give 110% or like 140% of their attention and their affection and just be super submissive to whatever needs 
of the person, like the girl that they're going after. It's like, just so that they can be in a romantic or sexual relationship with them. That's it. Have you guys encountered your own simps? Like, have people tried to do that to you? I see Laz nodding emphatically. Mm -hmm. Care to share, Laz? Um, it's sometimes it's like the guy that um, is offensive towards you in the game. And then you have a good comeback or you just like stop him from like that behavior or that you say something that he knows that he can't uh, fuck with you. Like he can't mess with your head. So then he slides into your DMs and he's like, I'm sorry, I'm not actually like that. And then like, and then he's like, he, he be, he's nice and like, he's okay. And then like two days later, he's being weird to you yes. again. So you guys, y'all have once again hit that part where I was following what you're saying and then you use some words and it seems like your colleagues understand exactly what you're talking about. But can y'all educate the rest of us? Like, what does that mean? Then he starts being weird. Are we talking about blankety blanks and blankety blanks? Are we talking about bathing or drinking your urine? Are we talking, like, what are we talking mm -hmm. about here? What does um, that mean? Generally appropriateness i guess like what Sorry. what does that what does that look like i would say um well the stuff that we've mentioned is for one but also um they want to get something out of you usually so uh and this could span from indeed like two days a week a month five months a whole year that you never really know <laughs> um and it's just interactions where they um, they do stuff for you and they want something back and then they suggest something inappropriate. And that could be straight up asking for nudes. That could be more subtle uh, stuff at first. But yeah, usually it, it involves something romantic or sexually. Hmm. You know, that's bizarre, Salai, because I, I remember you're the one who said they treat you like an NPC, right? Yeah. It sounds to me like they're grinding reputation with you. <laughs> Yeah. To get like <laughs> reputation much. rewards. They're like grinding. Like for eight months, I'm gonna I'm gonna message this chick every day. And then once yeah. I hit, you know, Grand Marshal in the Salaya faction, I'm gonna get me a nude. Yeah, and it's not even it just being inappropriate and rude, but it's also just uh, a mistrust because you don't really know going into certain friendship relationships whether or not there's actually friendship relationships or not. So there's always a balance of, um, do I really trust someone or do I not? Or, yeah, it, you have to always be on your guard. It sounds like you can't, like, just like playing the game, you just can't interact with another person without having to think about all this extra stuff. 